Edward Perez came to the U.S. with only the clothes on his back when he was a teenager. He knows what it's like to be homeless, and he's using his experiences and his passion to change lives, not only here in Northeast Florida, but from Cuba to Colombia and beyond. I came here from Cuba. I lived through a war in Cuba where I physically saw individuals that were dead. I saw my dad and mom lose everything they had through communism. When Ed Perez came to America at the age of 14 with his parents, they came with nothing, not knowing how they would survive, not having a place to live. I have never forgotten that, but I also haven't forgotten the angels that came into my life and guided me and strengthened me and providing the shepherding that I needed to get done. So that's what energized me and I know it is possible and I know we can make a difference in people's lives. After a 42 year career at CSX, Ed retired, but instead of slowing down, he started three grains of rice missions. My war is against homelessness, poverty and violence. Whatever I can do to achieve that goal, that's what I'm going to do, and if I can help other nonprofits become more effective, if, they, if I can help them achieve much more, that's, that's what I'm going to do. From partnering with the Homeless Coalition of St. John's County to provide housing to those living on the streets. It's about touching lives. To sending medical supplies he collected from local hospitals to Cuba and Haiti, his nonprofit, made up of all volunteers, meets the needs of those struggling in all different ways. The question we ask individuals is, what do you do with your extra items? In San Agustin, there is a need uh, for transportation for the homeless community. So the question I ask at uh, UNF is, what do you do with the extra bikes when students leave? And they said, well, you know, actually it becomes a problem for us. So this year we took 45 of those bikes and we deployed it in San Agustin and we deployed it in, in Duval. Ed says you don't have to leave your community to make a difference. And people have a misconception. They think a mission field, you have to go thousands of miles away. But the mission field is where you are right now, right here. His mission is to motivate people to get involved and help them find opportunities to take care of those in need. I am so blessed to be able to do what I do. Who would have thought that, that this poor boy who arrived in this country with nothing, homeless, will be here today trying to go ahead and do what we're doing today? That is what's possible when we work together and help one another. He truly is inspiring. And if you want to get involved, there are all kinds of volunteer opportunities with his organization, Three Grains of Rice Missions. Uh, they're also collecting over-the-counter medication and soccer and baseball equipment to help those in need if you would like to make a donation. To learn more, just look for this story on firstcoastnews.com. Heather Crawford, First Coast News, on your side.